Drukkoljunk együtt a magyar sikerekért! Sportlövő Európa Bajnokság élőben, Györből február 23-án és 24-én, kizárólag a Digi Sport csatornái. Digi Sport. Mindenünk a sport. Athletes to the line. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the athletes. Welcome the range officers and jury members. And finally, please welcome the coaches. Five minutes preparation and sighting time start. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Audi Arena. We have a very exciting final on our hands for the junior men's air pistol. A little bit of bad news. I. Uh, I tried to get some interviews to entertain you all, but both of my uh, subjects rejected me. So in, 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 in this instance, I have to embarrass them by name. Anna Janssen, the junior European champion of rifle, she rejected me. And Miroslava Mincheva, the silver medalist who just won medal of Bulgaria, she rejected me as well. So you're stuck with me. But we have a little bit of fun because I think there's a lot of noise in the crowd today. And uh, I think that we have some good emotions and feelings from the gathered crowd. For example, we have a Swiss guy in the final. Anybody from Switzerland? Why are you separate? You guys are over here. You got lost on the way. <laughs> They're waving to each other over the, over the balcony. We also have uh, one, two, three Russians in the final today. Three Russians in the final. We have a, a guy from Turkey. A guy from Turkey. Very good, very good. Uh, I noticed that uh, we also have uh, Italian here. Ita Italy. Ah, oh, yeah. And, uh, ah. 
We also seem to have a Hungarian in the final as well. All right. You're slow, you're slow, but you're getting there. All right. So I thought, uh, I thought I would explain the rules of the competition because I know this is a very new sport to everyone and you don't really know how the competition works. So uh, let, me, let me tell you, I'll give you some information. So we're going to begin the final with Tul Komoye of Urt Lubesh. Yeah? Two series of five shots. Again? And uh, so the two series of five shots, and then after the 12th shot, after the 12th shot, we have the first gear shed. Yeah? Again? The first gear shed, we have the first elimination after the 12th shot. And then the gear shed continues every two shots, yeah? Until we get to the bronze RM after the 22nd shot. And then if there's no tiebreaker or shoot off, we have the Azusht and the Oronya RM after the 24th and final shot. Again? Okay, excellent, you know. I told you during the last final, I was fluent in Hungarian now. I wasn't lying either. Thank you very much to my two boys who taught me some Hungarian. I don't know where they are, but they know who they are. They taught me uh, very quickly before the final. So thank you very much. Listen, please, please make lots of noise uh, for your athletes during the final. We're going to have a lot of fun, and uh, we want you to encourage them. So we'll start in just about one minute's time. Thirty seconds. Stop. Unload. Please lay down your pistols and turn to face spectators. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again. Yonapot Givanok. This is the Audi Arena. It's the final for the Junior Men's Air Pistol. My name is Shaq. It's a pleasure as always to host your finals in the European Championships. We have eight athletes lined up, ready for the final, and this is how they look in position. On firing point A, representing the Russian Federation, he finished fifth at last year's European Championships in Maribor, Alexander Petrov. On firing point B, representing Turkey, it's his first final. He's only 14 years old. Alp Eren Erdur. <laughs> On firing point C, representing Bulgaria, he placed seventh one year ago in Slovenia at the European Championships, Kirill Kirov. On firing point D, representing Switzerland, he finished fourth at the 2016 ISSF Junior World Cup in Seoul, Marvin Flukirger.
On firing point E, representing the Russian Federation, he lines up for his first international final, Alexander Kondrashin. <laughs> On firing point F, representing Italy, he won gold at the 2016 Junior World Cup in Seoul and silver at last year's European Championships in Maribor, Paolo Monna. On firing point G, it's his first international competition at 16 years old. Modjoror Saxenaiben, Janos Polgar. <laughs> and on firing point H, representing the Russian Federation, he won gold in Slovenia one year ago, which means he's the defending junior European champion, Anton Naristarko. <laughs> the jury member in charge of this final is Ms. Kristina Kivari from Estonia. And the Chief Range Officer for this final is Mr. Vilmos Pal from Hungary. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a fantastic lineup, including an incredibly young athlete. Please support your athletes, make lots of noise during the final, and enjoy the competition. Take your positions. For the first competition series, load. Start.
stop. Well, there were some great shots in that first series. Uh, the the 14-year-old Turkish athlete shot an eight and then hit a 10.9. That was the only 10.9 in that first series. And Monna of Italy, he also hit an eight ring with his fourth shot, but then came back with a brilliant 10.8. It is Gondrashin of Russia who's leading the final 1.1 uh, advantage over the Hungarian Bulgar at this early stage. This is the second series of five shots. For the next competition series, Lord Start. Stop. With his third shot, the, the uh, athlete who was leading after the first series, that was Gondrashin of Russia, well, with his third shot, he hit a 7.4. And although he came back with a 10 and then a 9.8, he drops from first to third. Uh, there is a 0.4 difference between the top three athletes and it is one of the other Russians, Aristakov, who now moves into uh, first place with two steady series of scores over 50. Good shooting. We're now going to move into single shots. The first elimination takes place in two shots time. For the next competition shot, load. Start.
stop. The difference between the top two is still 0.2 as it was before that shot. However, the two, the top two have now swapped round. It's Borgard who takes the lead and Aristarkov in second place. Only a very small margin. The next shot, it's an elimination shot. So Kirov, he needs to make up 0.8 to stay in the final. That's the difference between him and Erdur of Turkey. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Stop. Ladies and gentlemen, taking eighth place in the final, please give a round of applause to Bulgaria's Kirill Kirov. Well, Kirov has appeared in two consecutive uh, pistol finals. Last year, seventh in Maribor, now eighth place. Well, the only one of the eight athletes there to hit the 10 ring was Erdur. He shot a 10.6, and that moved him up one place from seventh to sixth. It is still Polgar who is leading the final despite uh, shooting a nine. In fact, him, he shot a 9.7. Aristarkov shot a 9.8. So it's still very close between them at the top. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Stop. Aristarkov 9.9, .9, Bolgar 10 even. So again, very, very small margin, 0 0.2 between them. 0 0.3 between the top three, with Baolo Mona making up the rest of the medal positions. The next shot decides seventh place. There's a 1.3 difference between Flukirga of Switzerland and Erdur of Turkey in seventh and sixth. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Stop. Ladies and gentlemen, taking seventh place, please give a big round of applause. He's only 14 years old, Alp Eren Erdur. Congratulations to this young guy. Very, very well done uh, competing in his first international final. Well, it's Paolo Monna who takes the lead in the final for the very first time. It's only a 0.2 lead. Uh, Aristarkov, Bolgar, they're now in joint second place. The Italian has the advantage. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Stop. 
Excellent shot from Mona. He's really uh, shooting steadily now. 10.4 means his lead is a 0 0.3. The next shot is elimination shot. Sixth place to be decided. Flukiger needs to overturn 1.4 to stay in the final. 1.4 the difference between Flukiger and Kondrashin. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Stop. Ladies and gentlemen, taking sixth place in the final, representing Switzerland, Marvin Flukiger. Well, that's his first final in the European Championships. Well done, very well done to him. Uh, Kondrashin shot a 10.8 with that last shot. Brilliant shot. Uh, he stays in fifth place. Uh, there's now a little bit of a gap opening up in the top three. Mona is leading by 0 0.6 now. It's the 17th shot. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Stop. That was a very costly shot for the Hungarian Bulgar, 8.1, and he drops out of the medal positions into fourth place now, and it means there's now a one even difference between him and getting back into the medal positions. Petrov of Russia is the one who goes into third place. Next shot to decide fifth place, 0 0.7 difference now between Kondrashin and Bulgar. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Stop. Ladies and gentlemen, taking fifth place in the final, please give a round of applause to your home shooter, Janos Bolgar. <laughs> well, he was doing so, so well in that competition. Only the last two shots he hit the eight ring and it cost him a place. Uh, in the medal positions, but very well done. Well, uh, Aristarkov of Russia, remember he's the defending European champion for juniors. He now takes the lead again uh, in the competition, only 0 0.1. Paolo Monna, he shot an 8.8, .8, and that means he drops from fir first to third position. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Stop. Great shot for Aristarkov, 10.6. His lead is now 0 0.6. The next shot is the next elimination shot. And after this, we'll know who is guaranteed a medal from this final. Gondrashin, he's 1.4 away from the medal positions here. For the next competition shot, load. Start.
fucked up. Ladies and gentlemen, fourth place goes to Italy's Paolo Monna. He was, he was shooting so, so well. It's a very unfortunate end. Last year, he won silver at the uh, European Championships in Maribor. He now finishes in fourth place after those last two shots where he hit the eight ring. Well, what this means, unbelievably, is that the three Russian guys in the final are all guaranteed. It's going to be a completely Russian podium. And uh, let me remind you that Aristakov, he's the defending champion from last year. He's looking to win two consecutive gold medals, which would be an amazing achievement as well. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Up. Well, the big fight is really between the top two. There's a 0 0.1 difference, the smallest margin between them. And there's more than three points separating second and third now. The next shot will decide the bronze medal. And uh, Kondrashin, well, he's three points away from a silver here. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Stop. Ladies and gentlemen, the bronze medalist for the junior men's air pistol for Russia, Alexander Kondrashin. Well, that's his first international final and he wins a medal. And as we say, all three Russians are guaranteed medals from this final, unbelievable. But there's a big, big change in the first two. Aristakov now drops one point behind Petrov. He's going to need to fight in these last two shots to keep hold of that gold that he won last year. Penultimate shot. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Stop. Brilliant shot, brilliant shot. 10.6 for the defending champion. 10.6. He takes the lead once again. Look at this. 0 0.1. 0 0.1 between the two athletes going into the last shot. Uh, last year, Petrov, he finished fifth. He's never won a medal in his career. As I, as I remind you, this guy here, the 19-year-old Aristakov, he could win his second consecutive gold at European Championships. He's looking to defend his title. This could be the final shot in the competition. 0 0.1 advantage with the defending champion. For the next competition shot, load. Start. Stop. Results are final. Ladies and gentlemen, 2017, 2018, he is still, still the junior European champion for Russia, Anton Aristako. Wow. What a final. What a final.
All right, let's line up the three medalists. The victory ceremony will take place on your left-hand side of the podium in 10 minutes time. The bronze medal in the junior men's air pistol for Russia, Alexander Kondrashin. The silver medal for Russia, Alexander Petrov. And the gold medalist and still the junior men's European champion for Russia, Anton Naristakov. What a great, great final. Thank you so much for your support, really. Congratulations to these shooters and everyone who participated in this final. The victory ceremony will be in 10 minutes time on the podium on your left-hand side. Thank you very much.
Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for the Junior Men's Air Pistol at the 2018 European Air Gun Championships. The medals will be presented by Mr. Wilhelm Grill, member of the European Shooting Confederation Presidium, and Mr. Laszlo Schinka, chairman of the organizing committee. The bronze medal representing the Russian Federation, Alexander Kondrashin. The silver medal representing the Russian Federation, Alexander Petrov. the gold medalist in the junior men's air pistol and still the junior European champion for Russia, Anton Aristarko. Name and fortune and everything that goes with it. I thank you all. But it's been no bed of roses. No pleasure cruise. I consider it a challenge before the whole human. Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem of the Russian Federation. Congratulations to the medalists and very, very well done to Russia. What an excellent final for them. Uh, don't forget to, when you post your photos on social media, please use the hashtag ECH. Use the hashtag ECH when you post your photos on social media. 
The next final will be the Running Target Mixed Team at 17.30. Running Target Mixed Team Final at 17.30. Thank you very much.